Oh my gosh. So I'm coming to you from the car, from the Mini. I drive a Mini. <sighs> this is the video that I hinted about a couple of weeks ago or so -ish. Um, This is in collaboration with B. Jones Style. Beth! The challenge is on. We decided to do a video together and it is going to be on two holiday party outfits, all vintage. So obviously check out what Beth has come up with. I will link her video for you below. If you don't know who she is already, because we've already done a collaboration together, again, that video is also below if you want to see the summer version. But this is now December and we decided, let's just show what you can actually pull from a vintage shop or vintage shops in general goodwills stuff like that thrift um and just come up with a sort of like a formal upscale sort of more dressy type of outfit and then something a bit more maybe my casual party outfit but the point is it is thrift it is vintage it is pre-loved it is all that good stuff that we both love so much let's just hold on let's just say a prayer for a moment that I will find something good. Prayer over. It's time to shop. <laughs> we are in the heart of Brooklyn and I am taking you to another L train vintage. There are chains, so there's loads of them dotted all over New York. Look, look at the front. couldn't find anything that was right so I'm going on to the next place also I was looking for camel coats and I couldn't find one okay another day another challenge I'm going to see if I can have any luck there is a goodwill that I didn't know existed I should just wear that wedding dress up there and call it a day Okay, no luck in here, but I did come across this, which is perfect for being in St. Lucia and also for next summer. I have a thing about daisy prints, by the way, in case you hadn't noticed. and it does fit I really like the gold colours in it and the different other colours like the purples I have no idea what I'm going to wear the bottom half of it because I've still got my jumpsuit on I love this idea together I saw this, um, this velvet wide leg pant and it is just this beautiful shade of blue I think this looks so pretty with this top but it's a little bit on the big side so I'm trying to think what I can do because I really really like it um, but I think it looks better if it's high waisted so I think if I had a skinny belt here it might be able to work oh by the way this is not a top it's a dress Buffalo Exchange, seeing what they've got. I'm looking in the skirt section and oh, look at this sequin skirt. Oh my gosh, look at this sequin pleated skirt. I've never seen that combination before. Oh my gosh, look, that's what the pleating is. Oh my gosh. And it's long. <gasps> yep, just need to find a top to go with this. So I saw this bomber jacket in the men's section and I like the red pattern on it and just wear a pair of heels. Well, you can't see properly here, but here's the skirt. I like it. Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> 
This skirt is everything. Look at that. Look. I could do that all day. And so that is me done. Finally. Finally. I am back. I ended up finding two holiday party outfits. Party outfits for the whole Christmas and New Year's season. All vintage thrifted. So, outfit number one. Oh, so my first outfit, it's very colourful and it feels very retro at the same time. So I, oh, I'm looking at the monitor, ooh, what I look like. So this is a long strapless dress. It is by Nicole Miller. Why am I grabbing my tits like down to my knees? But I'll insert cutaways. I just cut it basically because I saw it as a top, like this part up here. The gorgeous, look at this blue, you know. I don't have to tell you how I feel about jewel tones already. You already know. Anyway, so I found this beautiful sapphire, navy blue, velvet, wide leg pants. They're actually too big for me. So what I did, and I love that it has pockets that keeps it so casual when you're going to a party. I love that. It feels effortless. Um, I cinched it in with a vintage belt that I've had for about maybe, I found it earlier this year and I just really like this belt. It's just, this is exactly why I got it. It's to wear high, right at the waist and you can just like cinch anything in. This actually isn't part of it. The whole outfit is actually what I'm wearing here. So I'm gonna go all the way down. I'm showing you, these are the pants. As you can see, they're just quite, they're quite loose and quite wide. Kind of sort of Moroccan, Indian, eastern feel um, i couldn't find the right pair of drop earrings so i just saw these in my wardrobe so disclosure these aren't part of it in terms of like finding things i like the fact that the red kind of picks up on little flecks of red tag wise i had two options one that i had at home and one that i found in the shop one that i found in the shop was this one it is this beautiful beaded bag what i'm gonna do right just get rid of the strap completely and just wear it as a clutch and makes it much more formal just like that and you just go into a party like this and it's nice because I've always liked the idea of going somewhere like to a, a party and you're not necessarily wearing a dress the fact that the black of the bag will pick up in the black of the belt a little bit so and then you've got like the red from the red in here and the gold with the navy and then on my feet I can't find I've got big feet, so this is big feet pro girl problems. I can't find in vintage shops a pair of classic black strappy heels. So I went with a pair of just ones that I've had in my wardrobe for a while now. I don't even really like these ones, but they get the point across that I wanted to show you, which is me wearing basically a pair of just black strappy heels, because that is what I would do, something open-toed. And I did open toe to show your foot because I'm quite covered up here. And I wouldn't go with like an ankle boot because that would make this lower half feel very sort of heavy. And I think this looks much more um, nighttime appropriate. So that is the whole look so you can see everything together. I love this. I love the, this, like, the look of like something tight up here and strapless. Then you've got like the cinching in of the drama of the waist and you've got the accent of the waist. And then you just got like these pants Oh, why are my devices going off? I thought I turned them off. And I just went with the drama of like the wide leg pants. And that is it. Now, the reason why I added in the blazer that you saw over my shoulders, because I thought that a nice way to like walk into a party is to just borrow your husband's, your boyfriend's, your whoever, if you've got a blazer lying around, just, just draping it over your shoulders. I'd go with the black to pick up on the belt. And then that's it. And immediately, I feel like you kind of like dressed it down a little bit. Not much, not to the point where it looks like inappropriate, but it just feels a little bit more effortless and sort of practical at the same time. And the black with the black of the heels, you know, so it's all sort of works together color wise. But just clashing that whole like femininity of this top with the mannishness of the blazer and also even the earrings. I like the fact that you've got something like these, which are like very sort of like dainty earrings and then you just clash it with a blazer. I know what I learned with this particular outfit. It's all about adjusting and don't see everything as it's shown to you. This is not a top, but I made it into one. It's a dress. I don't sew. All I did was lay it flat, folded it over vertically and then just snipped it off. Okay. 
okay, so I could just cut that and then I could do it like that. You know what I mean? Same with these pants. These were actually too big and I almost, and I almost left them, but I didn't want to because I really liked the look of these pants on. So I thought to myself, hang on, let me just think about it. If I had, if only I had a belt that maybe could, you know, cinch you in. First of all, I thought of maybe just doing a skinny belt and just doing that paper bag waist look. So you could just have like the thin belt here. But I think it looks actually a bit more um, formal for like a party if you just take a nice dramatic wide belt, something like this, and then just cinch it in, completely cover up the fact that it's got a large waistband that's too big for you, and then just create the size for you instead with the belt. So yeah, that was just my take on it. Finish with some earrings if you like, and then um, what else? You've got your bag, which, you've, oh look, this is sticking out. Oh, if I could find a way to hold this, I could make this into like one of those, where you just do that. Especially when you're on a budget, you're kind of forced to, aren't you? You're forced to be more creative versus buying something that's already created for you, right? So that's like my takeaway when it comes to thrift and vintage shopping, let alone the fact that you're just like enjoying something that's already around. I really do like this one. It really feels very easy to wear. That's what I like about it. And it's so colorful at the same time. Okay, so this is my second look. I'm just putting my earring on before I step back. It's so funny, I happen to be wearing one of those sweetheart neckline type of deals again. That wasn't planned out, but it just worked out that way. Um, men's bomber jacket from Buffalo Exchange. I love it, look at that. And then it's got like some, I don't know if you can see, but there's pattern in the sleeves as well. Perfect, just to juxtapose with this. And then I teamed it with, this is the ultimate, it's this skirt. Look at this skirt. It's the sequined charcoal gray skirt. Look at this. Look. Okay, I'm just gonna go all the way back. Look, hold on, wait, no, I, hold on. Look at that skirt. <sighs> I, know, I know. I'll just do this for the rest of the video. Long sequined skirt, pleated. This is insane. And I just thought this together is such a love this combination, I don't have my shoes on yet, it's gonna be the same shoes anyway, but I just thought this was such a great combination. Oh my gosh, hold on, let me put my shoes on. Look, look at that, I put the shoes on. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. Oh my gosh, anyway, so this is the whole look for my second look for a party outfit, just all thrifted. This is just, with a bit of vintage as well, I love this. Oh, because the skirt is so long, it needs to be, it needs that lift, which is why I love a skinny high heel um, stiletto. I'm still on search for that perfect stiletto heel. This is not them. Um, this is something that I've had in my wardrobe for a while, but I'm looking for something just a bit more updated that I can find. But anyway, I'm gonna let them come to me. I'm not gonna be searching for it. <sighs> this skirt, let's just talk about the skirt for a minute because it is absolutely incredible. I've already shot wearing this. You can see this on my Instagram. I'll put a couple of extra pictures on the screen here as well so you can see. But I just, no, I just want to do this at a party. Just like, oh, Karen, yes? No, over here. Oh, yes, I knew you were over there, but I just wanted to do that extra turn just so you can see the skirt. It's just incredible. I can't believe I found it. And I actually been looking forward to wearing this skirt with like tall boots, even like Doc Martens like to dress it down. You know, just going the exact opposite and then just wearing it like during the day, like with a long coat and to have this peeking out. Anyway, I'm not gonna keep going on. Hero find for this entire video. It was this skirt. Bag wise, I have this gold bag here, which I picked up from Beacon's Closet. I love the simplicity of this bag because it reminds me of the Celine clasp bag. It's funny, I do have a Celine clasp bag, but you see that just that thin strip of gold metal that is so Celine, and I know that they have clasp bags which are handheld, um, and this just has that sort of similar look to it. But you know, the, the color is really up here, isn't it? It's just like this red, and I like how the red went with the charcoal. And look how this opens. It's got a hinge right like that, and then it does that, kind of like folds open. It's, I love stuff like that, and look what came with it. It came with this vintage, it came with this vintage compact that's one reason why i like vintage it's just, you know it's a story and I, I just love stuff like that so that was already in this so i'm going to put it back where it was found and then just use that just to close it again yeah that's my whole look together and then i'd probably consider 
changing these earrings out because it's silver and they've got the gold here that would bother me or you could just go like this just no earrings which you can see me having right now or I just have these in my closet which are a pair of OG subscribers you already know about these earrings they are these brilliant Zara earrings that I got earlier in the year and it still stands out at the same time so I thought this looks really good together it almost looks like a dress like this I just took the jacket off and it has that effect almost of being a dress Honestly, so I just put like a blazer on top, like the other one. Just put that on top. God, endless possibilities. Oh my gosh, this looks like a really dramatic dress. <laughs> I could just do this all day. Two. So that is it, that is my lot. Those are my two party outfit ideas for the Christmas season, the New Year's season, and it's all based from vintage and thrift shops. This is a vintage bag. This is a vintage corset. I believe it's vintage corset. Yeah, I found it from a vintage shop. This is a men's thrifted. This is women's thrifted. Um, yeah, that is it. And you already saw the details from the one before that. Um, I loved doing this with Beth. I've always loved doing collaborations with her because she and I both love vintage so much and thrift. It's just something that I know that I've personally grown up with going to street markets in London with my mum and it's a bug that has stuck with me forever and I'm always incorporating it into my wardrobe with existing pieces. It's just a common thread that has run throughout my entire life. So it's obvious that it would like spill over into my YouTube as well. So I need to stop watching this because we all need to go and check out what did Beth come up with. I already know that she's come up with something absolutely fantastic because she is so in the groove when it comes to like thrift and vintage. I just want to stop waffling so you lot can have a look. I've linked her video below. You gotta check her out. This girl has like incredible style when it comes to vintage and thrift. Um, and I need to see what are the two outfits that she came up with. If you love mixing in high and low from thrift to vintage to designer to high street and everywhere in between, that is my jam. That is what I do on this channel. And if that is you as well, definitely hit that subscribe button because you are going in for a treat. You're going to see lots and lots of inspiration about that. If you just go through the vault of like stuff that I've been doing in the past, that is all you're going to see. All right, so I'm going to go now. Welcome any new subscribers. Lovely to see you over. OG subscribers on my channel, go and check out Beth. Follow her. She's brilliant. All right, enough, enough, enough talking. Bloody hell, man. Where am I going? I can't waste this. All right, let me take my earrings off because I need to just go and put the kettle on and have a cup of tea. I will see you guys next week, Friday. I do videos every single Friday. My Instagram is Karen Richard, so you can follow me in between these Friday uploads to see what I'm getting up to. Um, and I think that is everything. Did I want to say anything else? No, I don't think I did. All right, let's go and check out Beth's video, linked below. I'll see you guys next week and I hope that you found mine inspiring. Take care my loves. on I'm gonna keep saying I'm done and then you lot are just gonna like Karen just disappear will you see any time you just walk in like this so you just like this right Oop.
got any trips over the rug. Make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow that stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record.